And so you discovered that all of us carry, you say, many layered identities mm -hmm. that we silence every day. Mm -hmm. Like what? Oftentimes when I sit down, I often only talk about one part of my identity, which is my transness. Mm -hmm. You know, and my transness is complicated through race, through class, through economic resources, mm -hmm. through so much. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a woman, but I'm a trans woman. You know, most people, when I walk around in the world, they don't see that visible difference. They don't see that. All they see is, oh, who's that black girl with the big curly hair? Uh -huh. That's what they may see. Or they can say, you pass so well. And that you your life is easy. That your life is easy, and you feel that to be reductive. To a certain extent. Yeah. The fact yeah. that you can pass so well. When yeah, people but, say but that that's to you. also true. Yeah. Because I can pass no one, most people are not rebutting me when I walk around. They mm -hmm. accept me as a woman. Mm -hmm. So it offers me safety, it offers me access, it offers me a level of comfort. As opposed to somebody, okay, let's just Opposed to real. someone who is, who is, who does not present in the way that I do. Yeah. I mean, being pretty helps, would you, would you not say? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for saying yeah. that. Yeah. Pretty, I hate it when pretty girls always say, no, it really doesn't make a difference. I have to, you should yeah, see my pretty cellulite. Pretty privilege is real. Pretty privilege is real girl. We're all judging people on the way that they look. Yeah. 